Hello, my guys, gals, and non-binary pals. My name is Lyle, and I am a gender illusionist. That means I'm a drag queen. And today, in honor of Pride Month, my good friends over at Audubon asked if I can come up with a bird-inspired makeup look. Now, when it came down to choosing a colorful bird, we wanted to go gay or go home. So we were having a, a little bit of trouble deciding between this one right here or this gay ass turkey right here. But at the end of the day, the painted bunting won because I don't know what the name for this gay ass turkey is. And if you do, then sound off in the comments below. If you would like to see me go from this to this, then keep watching. Okay, first things first is we're gonna shave, moisturize, and prime, and then eliminate your eyebrows. So just get rid of all hair on your face. And to do that, you're gonna need Elmer's glue, you're gonna need an alcohol swab, a sponge, a little spoolie, and some setting powder. And here we go. All right, so now that the eyebrows are done, we're gonna move on to the eyes. And this bird is pretty damn colorful. So we're gonna use a lot of color. We're gonna use as much color as we possibly can, not just on the eyes, but I was thinking maybe contouring with color, we'll see. So I just added a bunch of colors. I started off with orange in the inner corner and then I blended it out with the yellow. And then in the middle of my crease bone here, I just put a little bit of green and I blended that into a red, which I blended out with a purple because you know, this bird has just so many colors. I figured I'd try and put as many as I could on my eyes. Okay, now, we're going to cut the crease. Okay, so now that that's more or less even, now we want to move on to the eyelid. So I'm going to do a gradient of blue because this bird has a prominent blue color all over him. Okay, so we started with a darker blue on the outer corner, and then as we move closer to the inner corner, we're going to go lighter blue into white. So I think that will create a nice gradient of blue. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That looks good. Okay, so to finish off the lid, we're gonna put a little white on the inner corner, and I always use Sugar Pill White, which goes by the name of Taco at their brand. Um, it's the whitest white that I've been able to find in a powder form, and we love them. You can use my code, they don't sponsor me, to get a discount that doesn't exist. Now that we're done with the eyeshadow, we're gonna move on to liquid liner. I use Inglot liquid liner. It is the best liquid liner I have ever found. Okay, so now that the liquid eyeliner is done, I'm going to add a little bit of detail uh, in the eye just because this bird has so many details. So I'm gonna put a little glitter, I'm gonna put a little white just to accent a certain, certain parts of the eye. All right, so now that the eyes are done, I like to move on to the foundation because it helps clean up anything that you might have messed up. Now, when I was growing up, I had a couple of dubs. And when I say I had a couple of dubs, I mean my sister had a couple of dubs. Um, so that is my only really, like, it's my only connection to birds as a kid. Um, but Audubon was just brought to my attention uh, in recent news with the Amy Cooper story. So when I was approached about doing a gay pride event for Audubon, I jumped. I was like, let me support them. I did, however, always want a parrot. My mom would never let me have a parrot. Um, now we're gonna move on to some contour. Okay, so I definitely tried to contour my nose to look a little more beakish, like a bird, and it came out looking exactly like I always do it, which is telling. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to highlights. We're going to use this concealer. Uh, saving this step for after you do your eyes really helps in cleaning up anything you might have messed up. So you're gonna see a sharp line that we're gonna be able to create with this product. Okay, so now the highlight is all done and is setting. We're going to set the entire face with a translucent powder. This gets messy. Do I look more bird-like now? Okay, so now we're going to set all the highlight areas with a clown white powder. So as I said before, we're gonna contour with colors. So I think I'm gonna do like purple, yellow, maybe a little bit of red. Let's see how it looks. 
Okay, so now we're moving on to the lower part of the eye. We're just gonna finish out the bottom lid. I'm gonna start with yellow on the inner corner and work my way out from yellow, green, blue. I also figured why not pop a little red in the waterline. Usually you put black liner in the waterline, but I figured let's use a little color. There's red all over this bird's waterline, so let's emulate it. Okay, so what I decided to do on the ends of the eyes, on the outer corner of the eyes, just to give it a little more of a dramatic, colorful, bird-like effect, is just bring this orange all the way down to where my highlight would go. And then I'm gonna put a pink highlight over that, and I think that's really gonna pop. And because I'm really crazy, I'm like crazy crazy, I'm gonna put some yellow just to... <clears throat> No, ombre that out, give it a little pop right here. Ooh, I like that. Ooh, that's cool. I'm gonna pink highlight over that. Ooh, that's gonna look sickening. Moving on to highlight. Pink, pink, pink. Ooh. I have to add just the tip to the nose. Just the tip. Ooh, that's icy. That is ice. A little on the bridge, a little on the hair, Oh my god. Oh my god. Before we move on to the lips, I'm just going to finish off the eyes with this little glitter that I like to put along the bottom just because it really makes things pop. So I wanted to do like a smaller lip, kind of pulled forward again, trying to emulate some type of bird-like feature. Um, while trying to still look pretty. Always blend out your lip liner. All right, everyone, if you want a little secret on how to look like you're wearing lip gloss without actually having to wear lip gloss because lip gloss is horrible, in my opinion. There is this Dazzle Shadow Liquid by MAC that is supposed to be an eyeshadow, but if you put that over your lips, it looks like you're wearing lip gloss and there is no stickiness, it dries really quickly. All right, all that's left to do is lashes. So I will do that off camera and we'll be right back. Easy. Now I like to put a couple of beauty marks because we're extra gorgeous. Well, alrighty delighty, I think this is the final look. I put a little 80s spin on my bird-inspired look. I want to give a huge thank you to Audubon for asking me to do this Pride event for them. And if you've enjoyed this uh, transformation journey, then you can follow me for more at Lyle C. Maxton on Instagram. And until next time, be very kind to all the little birdies. Peace.